Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Into the Breach. Today we're trying out a random squad. I'm a little nervous about this, but um, what do I think of this one? The laser mech, who we did not really have a great time with last time. The smoke rocket mech, which is the one that starts with the uh, smoke passive damage effect, but also like, he's just a good damage mech. And the swapper. You know, actually, I kind of like this team. If we keep Lily so that the laser mech is guaranteed to be able to get into a position where it can do a uh, it can do a, co a close range blast on an enemy at the beginning of the run, this might actually be a good team to go for lucky start with. Because uh, the laser mech starts out being capable of dealing 3 damage. We have a little bit of smoke stuff. Yeah, the swap doesn't really need a lot of uh, a lot of reactor cores to scale. This is a team that might be able to go to the end of the second island without spending reputation. Maybe. I think it's worth a shot. This will be uh, this will be interesting. It, this might be a loss. I guess we'll see. So we probably want to do RST for the second island with the uh, with the smoke electric generator thing. Uh, do I want to take ally immune? Probably. Instead of health or move? Yeah, I think that makes sense. So we're not going to be able to level up storm generator, almost certainly. We might be able to get a level on rocket artillery. Yeah, like I, this, this squad is pretty effective with low reactors. So we'll do RST second because it should be relatively easy. What do we want to do as our, as our first easiest island? Well, I think it's maybe Detritus. I don't love that leader. But I also really don't want to have to deal with Blast Scions. Although Pinnacle is the easiest island in a lot of ways, what with all the Frost stuff. Man, Spider Leader and Blast Scion, though, is very rough. Armor Scion... You know, we could probably just do Archive into RST. I shied away immediately because Armor Scion. I hate the Armor Scion so much, but... We have two mechs that are capable of dealing two damage with their initial attack. I think we can probably tough it through here, and then um, this island should actually be pretty straightforward. Plus, over here we might have uh, we might have access to some missions that, that are pretty easy. Oh, yeah, like this one with all the landmines. I'm extremely down for landmine mission. Let's do it. So you have a lot of movement. You have seven movement on the first turn. We want to try to bait the enemies into the mines. So we got to remember the swap mech does not have infinite move the way we're used to it having. All right. Hopefully we'll have some leapers leaping onto the mines. That'll make things a little easier for us. That is not onto the mines. Did you not hear what I just said? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty okay too. So the good news is we have a lot of damage output. The bad news is the rocket mech um, does not push in all directions. It only pushes the thing that it hits back. It's not a big deal this time. We're actually totally okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're not okay. I can't stop this guy from hitting a building, can I? Well, we could kill him. Yeah, okay. I, I can, I can. We just have to use Lily to do it. I was thinking we can't get the, uh, can't get the swap mech over there, but it's not a problem. Lily and her three damage have it under control. Right. Unfortunately, we have to swap him here because we only have one swap range, so we can't dump him in the water. But that's not too bad. We do lose a mine. I actually, I don't think I knew that they destroyed mines if they deal damage to them. I don't know that I, that has come up before. All right, do I have four move? I do, so I can just run up and shoot this guy. Um. You took ally immune, right? Okay, ally immune does not make buildings immune. Good to know. 
Unfortunately, we can't swap this guy into the water either. But we can deal with all the enemies. No, we can't. I miscounted. The rocket mech oh, Ma only has three move. Uh, so we actually, the, yeah, totally cannot deal with all the enemies. There's no move that kills this guy. I guess... Yeah, I couldn't have uh, I couldn't have saved Cinnabar without putting Alexis in harm's way because like right we could have teleported, we could have done this swap which kills the emergency battery, or this swap which kills the swap mech. So we can't affect this guy in any way at all, which means I do this, and we just suffer. Mobility is an issue. Also, that's a lot of fireflies. Maybe some of you would like to step on the mines? Thank you. Very helpful. Wow. Alright, pretty okay. Okay, so we gotta block as many spawns as possible here. We can actually just block all the spawns and worry about this guy later. And I'm just gonna fire to create smoke, because it's a good thing to have smoke out. Okay. We took a grid damage. That's, you know, it's not a perfect start. Okay, Lily does not need this kill. Unfortunately, nobody else can actually get it. That's not true. I could do this. Oh no, I can't, uh, I can't swap him into the smoke. Um, and I can't actually teleport him to a space where we'll be able to shoot him into smoke. I can teleport him to a space where we will, will, where we will be able to shoot him into a fire. Yeah, that'll work. You get that XP. And not on Lily, hopefully. We can, we can hope that it will not land on Lily. Okay, she leached one of it. Uh, we definitely will not be able to max out our levels, but we can hopefully get everybody to at least level 2. Uh, kill 7 enemies is not awesome, but the tidal waves do make it easier. And over here we have to worry about the Volatile Vec, which is not my favorite mission. Yeah, let's do this. The, the Tidal Wave should make this doable. I'm kind of hoping... Let's swap these. I'm kind of hoping to get some enemies uh, in these rows. Make it easier to push them into the Tidal Waves. Oh man, it's nice to see a time pod and actually be happy about it. Okay. So. I'm gonna go here. We have to kill this thing. Doing that makes it possible for Lily to kill that guy. And then I gotta grab this time pot or else it's gonna be washed away by the, uh, by the ocean. And we're not, you know, obviously I'm not too concerned about falling in the water, what with the flying and everything. Also, falling in the water, not even really that big of a deal for us. Hopefully some stuff stays near the edge. Yeah, that'll do. That counts. This guy's actually really inconvenient. This is awesome. Oh, you know what? He's not inconvenient. He doesn't matter at all, in fact, because we can just use the smoke out of the back of the launcher to kill him. 
So let's do this. I'm going to swap this guy into the water, even though that's not necessary. Uh, just so that we can ensure that all of the XP goes to the, the swap mech. And then we will fire down this way, smoke you, and you will die in the electricity. So we're definitely going to get our seven enemies killed. <laughs> yep, there it is. Uh, I want to just... I want to just take this very badly. I probably shouldn't. Okay, we'll do that to, again, ensure the XP goes where we want it. Uh, I, we actually do have to shoot this guy with the laser, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, Lily soaking up all that XP. Maybe we should move her on to a different mech. She's best on this mech, but maybe we should move around to a different mech just until we make sure everybody's going to hit level 2. Right, you know what? I think we're fine. We're both like halfway there already, and we're not even through the first island. We'll be okay. Alright, come on. Good stuff. Okay, that's good stuff. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's really good. Who wants that? I kind of want to put it on the rocket mech, maybe? Or no, the swap mech is probably the right way to go. Uh, I think I'm going to turn that on. That seems very useful. Uh, satellites. I was kind of hoping for the terraformer mission. Maybe it's over here. Kind of think I just want to do the two two stars though. Not worry about it. Yeah, let's try to defend some uh, some missile launches here. All right, I don't think the targeting is too manipulable here. It's kind of awkward. like this. I'm a little worried about not being able to shoot into this column with the artillery, but we'll see how it works out. Okay, well that seems like poor planning. So we swap this guy, we swap Lily. Actually, I don't really want to do that. Uh, we could... Windtorn's probably not super good here. I mean... So what, we swap this guy instead. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna back up. We'll do it from back here. So that I'm putting smoke adjacent to a building. Just in case that matters. I do not want to take this shot, because I will kill all those buildings. I'm just going to block a spawn, that's fine. Show this mountain who's boss. She's trying to carve her face in it. This, uh, this, this laser is not really a precision tool, but she's doing her best. Okay, the wrong missile is launching first, that's inconvenient for me. I think I want to move and then wind torrent this way. The rocket doesn't launch until after this thing does its damage, so we will we'll have to defend this one pretty carefully. But it means that we can shoot this thing with um, the rocket mech. Yeah, which I cannot do right now for fear of damaging the rocket but also I can just do yeah I can just do this I don't need to I don't need to spend my wind torrent yet I should have done that first just did one less damage than I could have for no reason um yeah we're fine this is fine 
if I had reset the turn or remembered to press undo move, we could have moved the the swap mech onto a spawn, this spawn. Um, not doing that was a mistake, but I didn't think it was worth spending the reset for. Okay, well obviously that's not okay. So I think we just have we have to just shoot this guy, right? I can back up and do it. He's actually not fire immune. So I probably don't want to do the swap into the fire thing. Yeah, I think I just shoot this guy and then... Swapper just blocks the spawn. It could wind torrent down. No, you only have one health. That's not a good idea. Let's say a wind torrent down would mean we block these two spawns, but also it would mean the death of our only good pilot, so. Probably not a great idea. Oh, please don't move. Please don't move. Oh, you monster. Well, this is tricky. So now we have four enemies doing things that they absolutely cannot do. And none of them are lined up. It's probably mission critical for us to free the swap mech. Then we can use the wind torrent to blow everybody down into the left. Which means this guy just does one damage to the rocket. That's not a big deal. This guy misses. This guy would still deal damage, except obviously we will kill him. Oh, you have to move first. Yeah. So this Firefly deals one damage to the rocket, and then the rocket retaliates immediately and viciously, as they are known to do. It is unwise to anger a rocket. Okay, and then we defend the tanks. This is not always an easy mission. You know, I don't actually know whether we can safely put the tanks in smoke or not. I think the thing on the smoke generator, or the storm generator, says enemies take damage. Yeah, enemy units. So it's probably safe to put the uh, to put the tanks in it. it. It it might not come up, but it's good to be thinking about it. The turn seems fairly easy. This is a little awkward. Yeah, that is not awesome. We actually can't do enough damage to this thing to kill it without pushing it into the building. And I can't deal with the armor vac or the armor scion because it's too far away from this guy. Oh, never mind. We're fine, because I have the, the wind thing, and the wind thing is extremely cheats. 
So what I'm going to do is just move everybody that way. Well, actually, it would probably be better for us if I moved everybody the other way, right? Just that I'm not, like, putting my units way off in the corner. So I'll block that spawn. And we do get to kill this guy, and we want to make sure the killing blow is dealt by the artillery, not by the laser. Yeah, he's almost level 2 already. I don't have to move Lily around, we're fine. And the tanks have four movements, so that's pretty good. I'm just like block a bunch of spawns here. And deal with that, and then, uh, yeah. I don't actually even want to deal damage. I guess I don't even really have a good reason to make smoke, but I also don't have a good reason not to. Well, this first island is going really well, but that's not really indicative of anything. The first island's always really easy. Move out of the way so that you can get your shots. One XP away. Man, this one is, uh, this one's happening quickly, huh? Alright, here's where we might spoil our perfect island. I'm a little worried about getting enough damage on the scorpion leader. I'm actually going to swap these because of Lily's extremely good first turn movement. Oh, I forgot he does a four-way web and attack thing. Okay, well, we can just push him. That's not a big deal. He attacks first, right? So, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll kill this thing. Although maybe we don't even want to give him that. Maybe I maybe I want to just move here and like rack up the damage really quickly. So I could block a spawn or I could swap the scarab into the scorpion leader attack zone. I think Let's just clean up the enemy we know about. I, he's one of the least dangerous enemies, but... Oh, his attack has a push component. I'm just taking extra damage for no reason. So his health is low enough that I can, uh, I can just kill him, right? Yeah, Lily just has him. Okay, never mind. That was really easy. Soften this guy up. Just not get killed here. Seems okay. Unfortunately, this does put us on four enemies for the next turn, which is a little worrisome. But we have some good repositioning tools to go with our laser. We can probably get a, a double or something. Or maybe we won't have to do any repositioning at all. Yeah, this seems pretty straightforward. I suppose I should actually shoot this from here so that we generate smoke to protect the tower again. And then this is easy enough. Yeah, I feel like this island's just flying by. The first one's never super difficult, but I think it's usually more difficult than this. 
But maybe not difficult. It usually takes longer than this. Okay, we cannot kill everything this turn, but we can kill most of it. I guess that's actually not the right way to do that. Because now I can't teleport this guy into a position where he doesn't kill. Uh, you know what? He only does one damage. There's your solution. Because, right, he would only do one damage to Lily's mech as well, but he would also set it on fire. Although, I guess um, it would be on fire, but it would be after the fire damage step, so it would have been fine. Yeah, I, I was fine either way. Plus two mech HP. Awesome. Um... Well, I do love a good Rocket Fist, but I don't think it really fits with what we're doing here. And we already have plenty good damage to adjacent uh, tiles. We could launch it as a projectile, which is sweet, but I think I'm just going to take Prospero with the understanding that we're probably, uh, probably disengaging him. So I'm going to swap the plus HP pilot onto uh, onto this thing. And we're going to reconfigure stuff in a minute. Uh, so we have eight reputation to work with plus one or two. A confused shot is kind of cool. The shock cannon is pretty cool. Hard to be mad about an acid projector. So we could, like, sell Prospero, buy Acid Projector, and three Reactor Cores. No, wait. Sorry. We're not spending Reputation. Remember? Remember that thing? Remember that thing I'm doing? So, Prospero is strictly better than Alexis, then. But also, there's no reason for us to get rid of Alexis, because we can't use the Reputation. So we just... Keep an extra pilot on the roster. The whole point of what I'm doing here is that I'm not spending reputation. Which means... Man, this is... This is bad. Alright. I know. Listen, I hear you. I'm not happy about it either. You know what? That was so fast. Let's just do the next island. Okay. Oh, the Terraformer. Yeah, Terraformer. I was thinking the Terraformer was RST. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with me. People often ask me, Hey, SB, what's, uh, what's the thing? What's, what's the deal with your brain? Why is your brain like that? And you know what? I don't know. I don't have anything for you. Where do I want to put the swap mech in an attempt to bait enemies into standing in Terraform range? The thing is, I also don't want us all to be grouped on one side. Yeah, this is probably good. Don't want to actually be in the terraformer spaces, we want to be next to them. Okay, this is, this is not too bad. I guess I should probably do this from here, right? So we can drop you onto that spawner. Oh, hey, look. Another one of those uh, cracked glowy mountains. Well, you know what? It's going to get broken here in a second, so... Right, I have to do this from here so as to avoid murdering that building. And you get to swap that guy onto the spawn. That's a pretty successful turn. I can't remember, did the special time pod have a reactor in it? I think it did. Yeah, we gotta grab that. Okay, easy enough. Alright, 
sit on a couple of spawns. Yeah, free, uh... Finding a free reactor core in a mountain actually sounds pretty good. Alright, so we're starting to see more alphas, which is making things slightly more difficult. The terraformer is very helpful, though. So... I think I moved to here, shoot this guy. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a good way to use the wind torrent here? Not really, I guess. So we'll just, yeah, we'll just block a couple of spawns. Actually, so I don't want to move. As much as I want to lay down more smoke, if I move to here, this guy can't get to a uh, can't get to a spawner. He can move here, and we can move Lily there. But if we do that, I guess I can do that and just heal her before we lay down the smoke. I suppose that would be the, the smart way to do this. Yeah, put a little damage on this guy. Only let one enemy spawn. And hopefully, uh, the two of them will both choose to stand in a place where we can terraform them away. Nope. No such luck. So let's terraform this way. We gotta do this first. And then we just barely have the range to pull this. And get Prospero his level. Okay, that was really lucky finding another one of those so quickly. Honestly, we might even use the Mantis. Damage output is a thing we're having a hard time coming by. Oh, we didn't get a Mantis. We got one of the glowy guys. I can't remember what they're called. They explode when they die. It looks like that is not what this does. Plus one reactor core, reduce mech HP to one, but shield every turn. And he comes with plus three grid defense. But he's a reactor core. Okay, so there's more than one of these guys. Yeah. Right, we... This seems very good. So let's, let's go plus one range on the teleporter. Zoltan, that's what these guys are called. He's a Zoltan. Yeah, him having effectively plus one reactor cores, like, that's a very obvious implementation of the mechanics of that faction. Uh, I think we put... And we put the plus, the, the new reactor into Prospero. We'll just make him flying for now, but I'm probably building toward plus damage. I don't think we're going to get to plus damage on her. That's a lot of reactors. Yeah. So we'll just have him fly for now. I think that's pretty reasonable. You know, it's not totally impossible that somebody could hit max level here. I don't think it's likely, but it's not impossible. Alright, well, I think it makes a lot of sense to go to, uh, to go to the one that has all the stars as a reward. No, it doesn't. The stars don't do an SB. Man, I should just be getting only lightning. Only only power as rewards. Actually, so this could have been the run where I went for the 30 power reward too, or the 30 overcharge, because the stars don't mean anything. I'm just taking them out of, like, force of habit. But they don't do, they don't do anything. Yeah, that's not that's not great. I guess if I if I place myself like this, the scorpion is going to be less inclined to get in front of the train. Because it wants to web us up. Oh, and the Zoltan shield is green. That's cute. 
FTL is a super good game, by the way. I really can't recommend it highly enough. Just in case there's anybody who didn't know that. Okay, you have five health. That's actually kind of an issue for me. So this guy is not actually dead unless we kill the Blood Scion here. So let's make sure we do that. We probably just swap you... Oh yes, that's right, I have I have range now, so I can swap them to here. Okay. So that prevents this guy from regening, which means that this actually will kill him. Man, a Zoltan pilot's like that's very good. I'm very pleased with this find. So we're going to have trouble killing high health enemies. Just takes a lot of effort. Uh, we, are, uh, we are going to get a couple of spawns here. All right, well, only one elite. Wow, they're not even trying, like, a little bit. Well, that was easy. Never know what hit him. Yeah, I, I, I don't necessarily think it's going to be hard for us to get to 30% uh, grid defense doing a four island run with a uh, uh, with a random team, but I definitely should have been focusing on power rewards rather than star rewards. We could easily have done it here. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, anyway, this is important. We need the, we need the cores. Even though the stars are not valuable, we need the reactor cores way more than we need power. Especially since at this point we probably can't get to 30% grid defense anymore. Uh, so what are we going to do here? I guess it doesn't really matter. Lily's extremely fast. So we don't care that much about the bombs. Eh, well, I guess I care because I need the, uh... I need the perfect island reward to potentially be a, uh, a good weapon or something. Well, it's pretty non-ideal. So... That's really non-ideal. Uh, we can do a wind turbine push up hmm we could do a winter a uh, wind turbine push to the l bottom left I guess um, that'll block this spawn it'll negate these guys attacks and then we just have to kill the scorpion which we can easily do yeah. Oh, I had to move you first. You are going to want to move to here and just shoot this Scion. Because it shouldn't be a problem to deal with the Scorpion with the Rocket Mech. It's, that's easy enough. Okay. That's an alright turn. It's not great to have to use the Wind Turbine so early. Makes me feel a little exposed not having it. But yeah, as we encounter more and more of these high health enemies, we're gonna... We're gonna find we have problems. Now the question is, do I care about this guy enough to shoot him? It's 
because I have to kill you. I'm assuming that, uh... Oh! The Renfield Bomb does count as a friendly unit. Oh, well in that case I definitely just kill this guy and then swap this guy into the water. I was figuring I was going to have to use the swap on this guy because this would kill the bomb. Yeah, this is much better. Alright, so these guys are close enough to the rocket mech that we can just smoke them. We don't really have to worry about them that much. Uh, attack order... Okay, I do have to smoke this guy if I want him not to kill the buildings. The other Alpha Hornet won't kill him fast enough. So we just do that, and then this guy's health is low enough that we can easily drop him. And unfortunately, we have three new spawns coming in. Some of which will probably be Alphas. Okay. I actually think we're all right. Right, we move this guy out of the way. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, we're not that good. We lose Prospero if I do it this way. Let's try again, because I was going to obviously swap this guy over to here, but that would have meant the Alpha Firefly shoots right through and kills off uh, kills off Prospero. So, if we can't do it that way, how can I do it? This guy having high, this guy having five health is a real problem. Well, obviously we can't let this happen. That's disastrous. If we have to let one of these attacks go off, it's the one that deals one damage. Hmm. Well, what's the way that we actually prevent these? The only one that Lily can prevent is this one. I actually don't see... Okay. Prospero can get down here. So we can have Prospero push this guy this way. And then, um... Mafan can swap this guy. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, and then there's there's a whole bunch of versions of this where I can I can like swap this guy, I can swap the bomb. But yeah, we're fine. Not as many kills as I might have liked, but maintaining the perfect island. Starting to get a little worried about our lack of utility. The wind torrent was a very important find. So now we do Black Rock, because we need the uh, the grid defense. Yeah. It's not too bad. It doesn't really... For, for the purposes of this mission, it kind of looks like it doesn't matter where we set up. Put Lily... Like, over here, I guess. She can be kind of off to the side with her ridiculous first turn movement. Well, you said it, Mafan. Hmm. Five health is certainly a real problem.
pretty easy for us to move this Alpha Scorpion around, but I think... Okay, I think our best move is we shoot him down to here. And then we swap him like this. He's going to hit my mech, but he's going to hit me for zero. He's just going to break the shield, which I will get... Uh, I will get back for free immediately. And so he gets a point of regeneration, but then he loses a point of health to the block, so he's still at three, and we can kill him with one laser shot. Well, that's awkward. And I want to do this very badly. <laughs> Wish I could swap that building. Alright, how else could I do this? What else would be good? Uh, we could just move this guy to the side. Let's put this so that the, uh, the smoke comes in over land. And then we kill the regeneration scion, so that the uh, the spawn block kills this guy. This is not terrible. It's almost good. It's so cl it's so close to being uh, to being good. Well, so it's not too hard to prevent the enemies from dealing damage this turn. However. It's somewhat more difficult to also get some uh, some good blocks off. I think the best way to do this is to smoke that guy. And we kill this one. And this lets us block one spawn. And hopefully that's good enough. Alright, a couple more alphas. Not, not super good. Okay. No, we're fine. So we'll just, uh, take that guy... Is there a way I get kills on No, I don't I don't think I can kill this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't. That's okay, we have this. That's a good enough turn. Listen, sometimes you can't accomplish all of the objectives while also killing all of the enemies and getting all the level ups. Every once in a great while. Alright. Yeah, I, I probably could have gotten us to 30. But I think I can get us to 30 uh, on the long run where we get the five time pods as well. I, I think it'll be fine. So Lily... Let's see. We want to try to get the Alpha Firefly to shoot into... A row that there are no buildings in. It has... Only two move, actually. So pretty easy to uh, pretty easy to do that, I think. Come on, you definitely want to try it from a space that's adjacent to some water. You know you do. Oh, you coward. Actually, never mind. I have plus one range on the teleport now. We're fine. Yep, that's a thing. 
I forgot all about that. Well... Forgot's... Forgot's the wrong word. I didn't think... I didn't think enough about that. We can just pull him out to the water over here. I didn't want to do that, because obviously... Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I end up in the same place no matter what. Uh, we cannot kill this guy this turn. At least not if we want to keep our... Uh, keep our buildings alive. I think we have to do it this way, actually. So I get to do two damage to him. Alright, he's low enough that one close range shot or, you know, some shenanigans will do the job. Maybe hit him with the artillery shot and push him into something or something like that. So, I think what we do here is we use the artillery, like I block this now, use the artillery to do that, which lets us, first of all, kill this thing so I don't have to worry about explosions, and then also swap this guy into the water. We're actually making XP really quickly on Mafan this battle. I do have to be careful. My artillery mech is down to 1 HP now. Alright, well the enemies are uh, really clustered up. I'm seeing a lot of anger here. So we could do a wind turbine, everybody up into the right move to push this guy into the smoke, which is fine. Then we need to use the laser guy to break, uh, to break the rocket mech out of here. I actually think that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know that I want to be here. If that's what I'm doing now. Let's just try to stay somewhat central. Again, as always. I was not expecting that to break the web. That's a little strange. You know, I would rather block a new spawn than kill a guy who's at one health. We can we can deal with that guy relatively easily. And if I'm doing this, may as well just do a little bit of damage to the alpha. He'll take one more from the smoke and be pretty easily killable. Wow. Uh, once again, I get the sense that they're not even trying. And you just swap like this so that we get another kill. Wait a little bit more XP, rather. Yeah, we actually got pretty close to a level up on Mafon there. That might have been doable, leveling him up. Yeah, if I had taken, like, Overpower Grid a little bit, or the 30 was definitely within reach. I'm pretty sure we don't want this. We don't want Isaac Jones. Right, I don't want that. I don't think so. So I'm happy with my pilots. I think we actually do just take four Grid Defense. Yeah. And then we don't get to spend our reputation, but we do get to look at all of the cool things. Ooh, targeted strikes. Sweet fire beam. That actually that actually is really cool. Yep, so no spending reputation for us. 
Then we left the island. It's a, it's a sad time. All right, you know what? Let's just try to get let's just try to get all the way through this run in one uh, one video here. So again, no real information to work with. I wish you had some concept of where the towers were going to come down. So I'm trying to bait him in between us in the hopes that, um, uh, this guy, in the hopes that that will be a position where we don't have to worry about pylons? I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, if he goes, nope, never mind. Actually, if he goes for that though, uh, I was going to be able to drop him in lava. Not lethal, but it's cool. All right, this might be a wind turbine. Or I could just swap him to here. Like this swap is pretty good, right? He does four damage. It's tough though. We're not going to we're not going to get any uh any kills and we're definitely going to lose power. So I do that swap. Yeah, I actually can't stop power loss because Lily can't do enough damage. Right, yeah, there's no there's no place on the board where I can uh Yeah, there's no place on the board where I can uh I can there's no way for me to take zero damage this turn. If I do that swap play, as good as it is. So, I do the wind turbine thing instead. A wind turbine like this is pretty good. It negates all of their attacks. It puts this guy in the lava. Yeah, and then it, gi it gives us some time to build up damage on these higher health enemies. Like, I do this. And then do I just kill this guy? I, I can, right? Can we get a little bit more damage on him too? Yeah, that's got to be right. This this enemy is such a pain. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Wind generator is incredibly powerful. It's no ice or the wind turbine. It's no ice generator, but it's very powerful. Oh, how I hate the blob throwers. Okay. Well, I can just take the one damage. I can shoot this way to smoke this guy. Uh, you could get dumped in the fire. That requires me to let this happen, though. I mean, I could I could go over here and shoot at it, and only deal one damage to the tower. I would much rather um, fire like this, right? Just like really build up a lot of damage on these guys. But maybe I need to do this. The thing is, we're never going to be able to kill this thing if I don't put some effort into it now. Well, let's see what else, let's let's think this through here. What other options do I have? We can swap people two tiles. Yeah, but I, I'm not gonna find a play that's better than just get a kill, right? You actually can't even kill that beetle at point blank range. So we probably take three damage this turn. 
if I just pursue my plan of doing a lot of damage to stuff. What if I... No, swapping him out doesn't really help. I could swap this guy over the lava, or into the lava, rather. And then the rocket mech would be free to move. And I could move to here, shoot at this guy to push him this way, and smoke that guy in the same move. And then the laser mech has no play, I think. So we end up taking, um, we end up taking four building damage instead of three. And the laser mech just does, like, uh, just shoots this guy or something. I don't know what. He still can't get to a spawn to block it. Yeah, I kind of think I like the first plan better. If the turn order was different so that this guy fired before that guy... Things would be different, but it turns out it's always true that if things were different, things would be different. It's not really a useful thing to notice. So if we take three power damage now, we have to get through the rest of the, the top side of this without taking any more damage, basically. Which is not, like, super viable. If I did a play that resulted in the death of this enemy, then we could use the swap max shield to just tank this. Does that make things better? If I, like, swap these two, then use the laser mech. No, I can't, I can't kill anything. Okay, if I swap these two, then have the rocket mech move to here, fire down to push this guy out of the way, killing this with the smoke. Then the laser mech stands here, kills this thing. We tank that, we block this, we still take three damage. But we end up with more enemies wounded. Yeah, we, we still take this this damage and this damage. But yeah, we end up with we end up with more damaged enemies. Unfortunately, we're gonna get two spawns here and we're gonna have seven enemies on the table. And I can't do anything about it. Which is to say we probably lose. There's a pretty good chance that I'm not gonna be able to deal with this. Okay, we still take three damage. But the enemies we have out are, are more damaged this way. And so we can... Uh, we can hopefully defend the grid from them a little bit better. Kill a few more of them. Oh, it's so many bad guys. It's so many bad guys. Okay, he killed himself. Much appreciated. All right, let's see here. So we can swap the blobber into the lava, obviously. Doesn't really solve a lot of our problems. 
the digger has killed this thing. So you're going to get a charge into a into a power thing. You're going to get to do some some power damage. And you are going to get to do some power damage. Those are the those are the things we have to deal with this turn. Uh, we can kill this guy pretty easily with the flying rocket mech by being here. We can swap you out. And I can just tank this hit. I'll like... Yeah, I'll step back to here. Shoot him for two. He'll charge in, hit me, he'll stop in this square, and then the, the digger will... Ah, the digger will only hit him for one. Thing is, if I don't step back, then he doesn't get hit by the digger at all, so we end up doing the same amount of damage. But that, I mean, that sequence does prevent us from losing any more power. It's pretty hard to argue with. It's a shame I can't put this smoke in a useful place, but... Right, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't make sense to shoot this in any other way. So you just swap this guy out to somewhere. It kind of doesn't matter where, although actually, no, it totally matters. It should be here. Because he can kill the blob thrower. And then you just step back and shoot him for two, and then he'll have one health next turn. We still get one more spawn, which is horrible. But we also end up with a fair number of dead enemies. Yeah, okay, we're going to limp through the top half here. We had to get pretty lucky down below for this to work out, but we might. We totally might. Okay, a scorpion is not that bad. Especially given the position he's in. He's kind of prevented from moving anywhere useful. So we only actually have two enemies who are threatening to deal damage. And that is something we can deal with. Okay. So no damage gets done. We go down to the bottom with 4 power and 26 grid defense. Meaning that I would expect us to get 1 defense... If I guess that would be that would be true if all of our uh, if all of our incoming attacks were one damage, which of course they will not be. They're probably mostly going to be three damage. So basically, we shouldn't rely on the grid defense to do anything, which is always the case. This is doable. It's going to be close. Maybe. If we're lucky, it's going to be close. It's also possible that we just get completely blown out. That is definitely a possibility that is on the table. Could you maybe send down fewer power pylons? What about just, like, one? What about just one pylon? It would be so much easier for us to defend one single pylon. Yep, that's pretty bad. Fortunately, uh, that also makes him very rockable. Okay, these guys have a lot of health. So we can push you onto the rock. Yeah, I could come down here and do it. Right here. Because remember, it's really important we block spawns where we can here. Way more important than usual. Unfortunately, where we can is just this one, I think. So I do that. I teleport one of these guys to somewhere else. And then the other one gets his shot off because the laser mech sadly cannot really do anything about enemies that have more than three health. 
I mean, she can block a spawn. That's that's something. But yeah, this is actually, I think, it. So you die, you block a spawn, and you pull one enemy out of position in the hopes of us getting pretty lucky here. But it, uh... Wait, what's the attack order? Ah, uh, these things have one too many health. One too much health. Ah, uh, we do have Wind Torrent, don't we? Does Wind Torrenting everything up and this way actually solve the first turn by itself? Is, is that for real? Hold on a second, I think it does. I keep forgetting about the Wind Torrent, but I shouldn't because it's unbelievably powerful. Yeah, it totally does. So... Oh, you're killing me. Mafan can get just one space away from being able to block in two different ways. He needs to be here or here. All right, we're still going to be able to get two blocks. So I guess it, it actually doesn't matter where he ends up. Just kind of in the middle is good. Yeah, and that means we that that right there means we take no damage. Okay. Uh, and then we do this because it allows me to set up a little bit of damage. And like this for the same reason. It means that um, our shield gets popped here, but that's not a big deal. To soften enemies up so that we can actually do damage. So we can actually like kill them with damage next turn, potentially. You still get rocked. We still get to do double tentacles under spawners. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn. And getting to rock the leader is very, very good. The wind turbine is uh, <laughs> one heck of an item. I was really hoping this guy was going to move to a place where we could uh, easily get him on the tentacle. Okay, so... Well, I can kill this guy. That's pretty easy to do. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of moves here. So I can kill this guy with the beam. I can teleport one enemy away. I can smoke or rocket one enemy. And we're still taking grid damage, no matter what I do. Poor Lily just cannot actually like deal meaningful damage, so we have to tell we have to deal with this guy before Lily will be able to move to a place where she can shoot the crab. <sighs> Trying to figure out is there a way? Is there a way that I can actually stop all of the damage? A big part of the problem here is that all of the damage is artillery fire, and none of it is just on the ground, so we can't block any physically. Can't use our sweet Zoltan shield. See, we could also just swap this guy over here. But the problem is, if we do that, then uh, Lily can't meaningfully contribute to the turn. One, two, three, four. Yeah, if she had five moves, she could stand here and shoot at that guy. That would be cool, but... There's no place where I can stand and fire a rocket 
such that I get smoke and also uh, prevent another shot. Let's see. We could use the swap mech to do this swap, which gives Lily freedom of movement, blocks the spawn. And then we can disrupt any other one. No, sorry, we can disrupt this particular other one. This guy is not disruptible because I can't hit him with the artillery rocket without pushing him into another power pylon. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's it. So we take no spawns. Yeah, this, this does one damage and... So this only prevents one damage. This does one damage and prevents two damage. Those are the same play, really. And then um, Rocket Mac probably just shoots this guy downward. Yeah, so we take two grid damage here, but we also prevent all of the spawns. Okay, super lucky. Let's try to run the rest of this uh, battle in such a way that that luck wasn't necessary. So, that's a huge number of spawns. Kind of an unfair number of spawns, frankly. Alright, we can do this. We can just ignore this guy. You can get swapped onto a rockfall space. Yeah, we just like block. Yeah, okay. We gotta block as many spawns as we can. It's unfortunate. There's no way to swap this guy onto a rockfall space. That's useful to me in any other way. Right, I'm just going to fire this way to put down some smoke in a place. Kind of wherever. And... Alright, this will be the last turn. So at this point, we can go ahead and sacrifice our mechs, or whatever we gotta do to make this happen. Okay... Are we good? I think we're... I think we're good. Right, because we just swapped this guy into the lava. And then do this. And then we're, yeah, then we're good. Okay. Uh, I will smoke you. Take that. Okay, so we didn't, the, the grid resistance didn't actually matter. We were, uh, we were fine anyway. Okay, we got to the end there. I could definitely have gotten the 30% grid defense at the same time as getting this. Uh, so that makes me feel a little stupid. You know, I just... I'm in that rut of, like, stars are good. Let's get the stars. Lily, everything's fine. You're coming with us to the next timeline. Are you? Maybe I'm taking a fun. <laughs> you know, it said he was unlocked in the harbor... Or in the, uh, hangar, though. We could just get a new... Um... We just get a new Zoltan pilot, and in doing so, possibly roll a better level up bonus than plus three grid defense. So yeah, there's no there's no way I'm taking this Zoltan with us. He's he is the worst possible Zoltan. <laughs> I guess actually the worst possible Zoltan would be plus two HP because that does actually nothing. 
Maybe they can't roll plus two HP for that reason. I think we just take Lily, right? I don't know, maybe Prospero. A plus one move Prospero is pretty good. Now nah, I'm gonna bring Lily. Okay, well, we pulled this off. I think that it should be easy enough to do these two together. Because if we're doing um if we're doing five time pods, we're doing four islands, and we kind of run out of stuff to spend our reputation on uh, in a normal run after the third island, so we can just buy a ton of grid defense with it. We'll be fine. Anyway, uh, that obviously was it for that run. Uh, for this next run, I'd like to do a customize. We'll do we'll do the other random run, but I don't want to do two back to back. So yeah, if you have feelings about what you'd like to see in the custom squad, please do leave those in the comments below. And, of course, thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time. I'm going to be piloting a monstrosity that you people are largely at fault for. And we'll see you then.